<laughs> Seriously, I played the game a bunch of times, and I was impressed like playing it this time because. You know, you can really start, I mean, like we were talking about yesterday when we were playing it, it's really starting to feel like it's meshing. It's starting to come together. You, uh, you talk about how you guys have really worked on the beginning part of it. Um, take me through a little bit of, like, what the thought process there was and how that relates to, like, where you're going with the Hellgate design. One of the things we wanted to do in the beginning was to make it really focused. Uh, and that meant really reducing the size of that first station that you start in. Uh, everything's laid out really linearly. It's very simple to see who you're getting a quest from, what you're going to be doing next, um, where to go to exit. Uh, and that was really important because we, we found that when we had even a slightly larger station, people would kind of get lost and confused and run around and not we're sure, we're sure where they were going. And by really refocusing how the very, very beginning gameplay works, uh, it's made it very simple for people to get into and, and start experiencing the world and, and kind of getting their hands, you know, in, in the nuts and bolts of the game. So now the other side of the coin here is that we've talked about making it easy to play and easy to get into. Where were you as far as developing the character sets and then and then the factions and the classes and, and how do you balance having so much out there and, and not losing the character, not losing people in, oh my god, what do I play? Well, the first thing was designing the factions, so the, the Templar and the Kabbalists and the Hunters. And really the idea was that was presenting three kind of core archetypes, not only in the way they would be presented in the world, the storyline and things, but then also just from a gameplay mechanic. So the Templar were going to be your melee characters. The uh, Kabbalists were going to be your spell casters. The, and then the Hunters were going to be your ranged characters. Uh, and they also were going to represent that FPS mechanic. Uh, and then when we started to push past that is where we started to introduce things like, okay, the, the hunters really specifically are going to be designed around introducing an FPS mechanic into an action RPG. Uh, the Cabal also want to be able to divide those out into, you know, more of a pet class with the summoner right. and more kind of a, a blaster style class, uh, you know, with the evoker. And then with the Templar having the big tank guy and then having more of the, you know, kind of like real fast melee, crazy combos, hack and slash guy. I think, you know, in terms of how we then delineate that out into classes is then looking at when we're taking the Templar, for example, how do we want the Guardians to be different than the Blade Masters? What's going to be fun for someone who wants to play that tank who's in the middle of combat, sword, shield, sucking up tons of damage, you know, drawing all the aggro, versus the guy who wants to dash in, do some crazy maneuvers, uh, kind of have a, a more intricate system in terms of how they're weaving their melee combat in and out, you know, kind of striking and moving a lot. And they, they really end up playing very different and being very complementary. And so as we go through and design each of the classes, you know, that, that really becomes the focus. What do I as a player want to get out of this style of character? Right. What's the degree of sophistication to build multiple good builds for one class? As people start playing the game, they naturally find ways that different item types interact with character skills. It's not like, oh, we planned where at level 42, you would get this skill and this type of item, and that would make this combination for this to occur. It, it just happens because players start experimenting with things. Your speed to get to you know, a, a fairly high medium level, like level 30 or 35 or 40-ish, you know, is, is much quicker than a lot of other games. Because we don't anticipate that, like, oh, I'm going to be grinding on this one character for months and months and months and months and months. But it's like, you know, I'm going to spend, you know, a, a couple of months on this guy. Then I'm going to get him to a certain point, and I'm going to be like, oh, I should try that like this. Okay, I'm going to make another guy, and then try that like that. And then I'm going to use this skill and that skill. And there are combinations that we never thought of. And that's what I like about, uh, you know, Hellgate London is that there isn't a best build. There's really effective builds in a broad spectrum. And players come up with more and more of their own builds as they find more ways to combine items and skills and spells. trying to shoehorn the game into different, you know, categories and, and seeming to miss the idea that it's just an action RPG. I mean, what else would you expect from this team? It's going to be an action RPG, except everybody wants to say, oh, it's a first-person shooter or it's an adventure game. What's going on there? Why do you think that's happening? Uh, people like to have uh, easy ways to describe things. and They want that, that five-second marketing bullet. And uh, I think when you start breaking outside of those boundaries and designing something that is outside the box, they still want to have a label for it, and it gets harder and harder to put a label on it. I remember we used to have 
religious arguments that would be occurring in the in the press and the fan base over Diablo 2 about is this really an RPG or not? And there'd be all this discussion about why it was and why it wasn't. And you know, we think that we're gonna have a lot of those same types of arguments that occur is what is Hellgate? Is it an RPG? Is it an FPS with RPG elements? Is it an RPG with FPS elements? Does it you know and then there's the whole online scope of it as well. Is it what is it? What is it online? Is it this? Is it that? And and it's the kind of thing where we just want to make a fun game.